Yo, what is up guys? Dale Boy here, aka Blue Collar Sports TV. So, Ryan Garcia knocks out Francesco Fonseca in one round. This was a mismatch from start to finish and a destructive performance from Ryan Garcia. Leading up to this fight, we all expected Ryan Garcia to win, but really it was about how good he looked doing it. Francesco Fonseca, really not a proven lightweight, it's got to be said. He fought for a couple of world titles at super featherweight, he went the distance with Tevin Farmer and also got knocked out by Javonta Davis. So when this guy stepped up, he has been beaten, but Ryan Garcia did do it in the best fashion so that's a good look for him, especially when people are talking about fights with the likes of Tank Davis. Obviously this was a common opponent for Ryan Garcia. Anyway, this fight was over in one round and Ryan Garcia really looked in control from the first bell. Francisco Fonseca was trying to march forwards and he was throwing like a one-two, sometimes jabbing to the body, but a lot of the time he was kind of throwing out of range. He was the shorter guy with a, lot, with a lesser reach and yet he was throwing out of range and Ryan Garcia was really just looking for his counter punch opportunities. Ryan Garcia found a home for that counter check left hook early on. He caught Fonseca with it a couple of times and it was proving to be a really effective shot from round one. He was throwing it nice and quick, and you know, Fonseca was just open to it, and that's how he got knocked out. He got knocked out by a left hook. Fonseca, you know, he opened up to throw like a looping right hand, an overhand right, and Ryan Garcia timed him with a left hook, and you know, slept him. Brutal knockout from Ryan Garcia, and you know, one for the highlight reel, no doubt. And a good performance from Ryan Garcia. Listen, Ryan Garcia, a lot of people joke about him, a lot of people, you know, insinuate he's terrible. He's not terrible. He's got a lot of good attributes, he's got nice quick hands, he's got good power, he's big for the weight, and he's got good timing. Ryan Garcia does have ability, he does have skills, and listen, he's only, what, 21, 22 years old? He's very young, so this guy's only going to get better. And, you know, providing he gets the right fights, I do believe Ryan Garcia can actually develop into a world-class title level fighter. I think Ryan Garcia has certainly improved since moving over to Eddie Reynoso. I think that was a good move for him. He seems to be punching harder. You know, he seems to be really sitting down on his punches. And yeah, I think that's a really good fit, especially given the style of Ryan Garcia. We've seen Eddie Reynoso work wonders with Canelo, who's a counterpuncher. And Ryan Garcia, you know, maybe he can build on those counterpunch attributes and be much more effective. So I think Eddie Reynoso is a good fit for Ryan Garcia, and I like what I see so far from that partnership. Now moving forwards, I want to see Ryan Garcia really step it up now. You know, he's had a fair few fights, he's getting a lot of hype, so I want to see a step up. Jorge Linares was on the undercard, he won by a fourth round knockout, he looked pretty good, and ultimately I think Jorge Linares would be a great test for Ryan Garcia. Don't get me wrong, Linares at this point has certainly seen better days, but still a really talented fighter, bags of experience, a former multiweight world champion, so I think Linares would be a great step up for Ryan Garcia, and I think that fight could tell us a lot about Ryan Garcia, because like I say, despite Linares being past his best, he's still a capable fighter, blaring hand speed, good counterpuncher, decent power, you know, Ryan Garcia does have certain flaws, and listen, if Linares can exploit some of those, it could be a really interesting fight, so I like that fight between Ryan Garcia and Jorge Linares. I think for the purists, I think that'll be a great fight to watch, and even for, uh, for the casuals, given how both guys fight, I think it'll be explosive, so I like Ryan Garcia versus Jorge Linares, and that's what I want to see next from Ryan Garcia and Jorge Linares, so yeah. That's what I would like to see. Anyway, share your thoughts below. What did you make of Ryan Garcia's performance? All like 30 seconds of it. Yeah, share your thoughts below. Peace.